there is a lot of potential to maximize the yield of a singular fish. We're talking about 50 to 60% of waste generated from just bones, livers, the in innards basically. I hope that people will change their mindset and start realizing I'm paying for it. I might as well take it home and maximize the yield. Bones have high calcium. Bones have high um, collagen, which is really good for your body. And then you have the omega-3 fats that come from the skin, from the inside, the little bits of fish that you still have. So we've made a stock with and let that sit for an hour, just cooking very, very mildly and get out as much essence of the fish I could. For the eyeballs, reduced it down with a little bit of water to make an eyeball jelly. And that was a really interesting part because eyeballs have tons of collagen and they also have this mucous membrane, which is really like mucousy and a little bit gross. But when you cook it, it has this beautiful like salinity flavor that does not give it that overly salty feel. It brings a portion of the sea into the dish. You can easily spot the liver because it's normally this beautiful beige pinkish sort of color. So I took the liver of the fish, gently torched it, mixed it in with a little bit of Brussels sprouts. For the star snapper, the fat that you get out of this is this beautiful orange, amber sort of fat. In a normal circumstance, if you wanted to use fish fat, I would just say, render it. I blended it with this chives. It created this beautiful green hue that you could never get from most other fats of the fish. Instead of filleting the fish with, without the scales, I kept the scales on, patted it dry so that it would be as crispy as it possibly could. So when I cook the fish, I make sure that the scales are facing upwards and then we coat it with beautiful hot oil, which immediately turns the fish scales into this crispy, crunchy, almost chip-like texture. Because I know that there's so much use and potential for this fish that I could do with at home to create a very well-composed dish, utilizing everything from not only, I would say, head to tail, but literally head, eyes, tail, innards, bones, and everything else.